Hey, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how you can use AI to create an image of yourself. This is possible using a personalized image generator and I'll show you step by step how you can build yours without writing a single line of code. Everything we'll be using in this particular video will be free. Now, just in case you're asking, is this really necessary or important? Now, let me start by saying, this particular video that you are watching right now is my personal avatar talking. So you can use this to even create videos. So see it as a digital asset. So today you can decide to be a superhero, tomorrow be a digital nomad or even a chef. So the goal is to bring to life anything, whatever you could imagine. Alright, so let's get started. If you are up to date in the AI space, you will know there is this new image generator called Flux AI. Many people have tagged it the alternative to Mid Journey because you are able to generate realistic photos for free. I created a video talking about the Flux AI and how you can also build your own Flux AI engine. I would advise you come check the video if you haven't. The difference with what we are about to do now is to create an image generator that always includes your face whenever you ask it to generate image for you. Now, the reason I'm talking about Flux is because we are still using Flux for this same video. So Flux is open source, which means you can customize it to your taste. Don't worry, I'll try as much as possible not to use any technical jargons and it will be easy for you to implement. Now, to make Flux generate images using our own face we will have to fine tune it and train the model using our own face so the platform we'll be using to make this possible and to deploy this model is called replicate replicate now i want you to go to adelikesamo.com forward slash replicate now this is a long link i just have to shorten it and let me say this, Replicate is actually not a free platform. It is paid. But then using that link gives you free $10 credit. And just for your information, this credit might be gone anytime soon. So I would advise you use it as soon as possible. But then I'll keep updating the link if there are any changes. Accept credit. Can you see? So this is what we'll be using. Now, let me say something. You might be required to have a GitHub account. Now, GitHub is used by developers, but don't worry, it's just needed in this process. So, all you need to do is go to github.com and register an account. Once you have registered the account, then come back to replicate and um, register. Now, once you get here, we can now begin to train our model now to make our work very very easy we'll be leveraging a model that was created by one of the community members called lukataku so this is the model here the model allows us to use flux loral training without writing any code everything has been done if you see it on the home page just click on it if not i created a shortened link go to adelication.com forward slash flux Dash training you'll be redirected to this page once you are here now this is where we'll be training our own model now click on this train tab and you'll see uh, some things that will fill but before then you need to collate the images of yours that you want to use to train the model now how do we do this i would advise you collate about 20 images of yourself preferably portrait when i say portrait i mean uh images whereby you are just showing your face or your face is what is being shown the most not a full picture another tip i would like to give you is make sure there are nothing distracting in the background for example uh this looks kind of plain this now this is not too bad right but then i can decide to uh remove this background so i'll be using I'm currently on Canva, so if you use Canva, you can just use the background remover, which is a pro feature, I guess. 
but then if you are not uh, a pro canva user you can see what i just did so the idea is when you remove all of this distracting background the ai model will be able to pick your face so in case you're not using the pro version of canva you can check out this very popular tool called remove.bg the only thing is it might not give you high quality output but that is an option and that option is to use the adobe express they offer this feature remove background i created a shortened link as well go to adelkesamuel.com forward slash rgb so these are options for you so once you have everything remove those background make sure they are clean it is showing your face portrait images now you need minimum of 12 of this image up to 20 or even more so i would advise try as much as possible to get 20. now you can even use the same images that evoke different emotions uh, evoke different for example look at this look at this although these are meant for youtube uh thumbnail but then you get my point i was smiling here yeah i was kind of surprised or something now let's talk about renaming of the images now please adhere to this strictly you will see this particular image we have a underscore photo underscore of underscore dsp now dsp right here is the token name now the token is more like a keyword whenever you are using your personalized image generator if you include that token name as part of the prompt the image generator we make sure it includes your face in the image it is generated up that's very clear my own token here is called dsp so whenever i use dsp as part of the keywords in the prompt that i'm using then my image generator will include my face in the output so make sure you follow this strictly now you notice this is one then the next one follow the same thing a underscore photo underscore of underscore the token name then into bracket the number so do that for all of the images you have you can as well just rename them manually if you have that now once you are done we'll export this as a zip file so if you are doing yours offline just zip it there are tools you can use to do that so i'll just click on download you know this was um, how we were naming the old pictures right we're having numbers into bracket numbers just remove the bracket and the number and just have a underscore photo underscore of underscore your token name now this is very very important make no mistake here if you do you might run into issue when you start training your model all right so once you have that then i will proceed to the next thing now just before we continue with setting up the training parameters there is another thing that is very important here that we need to do we would need this hf token so hf here is the organ face token all you need to do is go to organface.co register an account right now once you register your account go to the search bar and search for this model this particular one click on it you can see agree and access repository so accept it now you have it on your account now once you have done that click on the top right where you have your face and go to settings then click on this access tokens and click create new token so here you can just put the token that you created earlier and also add lora to it lora is just like a topping to the flux model it makes our generation more realistic once you have this give access just give access access give permission uh, discussion post and billing are not necessary now where you have these repositories permissions you know the uh, model we granted access earlier select it here just check all the boxes okay uh, once you are done create your token you can see and you copy the token copy it so we have dsp lura and you click on done now all you need to do is come back to the training page and paste uh, the token because you might not be able to view it again now that you have all of your assets and tokens needed come back to the training page and click on create new model 
Now where you have this uh, DSP which is your replicate username, I'll just name it my token name dash Laura. So you can use your token name dash Laura. Now this public or private. Now the images that we created, this is where you upload them. Okay. Now leave uh, the model name as it is. Leave the token name as well. That is the organ face token. All right. So just leave every other thing the way it is. Now for this repo ID, you need to go back to organ face. Now click on your profile picture and you see new model. Click on that and just paste the model name. It could be anything. Just paste it there. That's all used to um, assess the model when we want to run or generate images. Now make sure this is set as public. Meanwhile, for this particular place where I said you should make it public as well, you can make it private. But for this, make sure it is public. If not, you run into some issues. Okay, so just click on create model. Just copy everything and um, paste it here. So once you are done with that, I think you are good to go. Then click on create training. You can see there is something here now. It has been committed. Look at one minute ago. All right. So it is running. Now this will take about 30 to 40 minutes. Could be lesser or could be more. But then just leave it to keep running. Okay. So you can see it has started from 0, 1. So you need to wait till it gets to 100 for the training to be complete. Now this will take about 30 to 40 minutes, could be more or could be less. So I'll just tell you, come back to this, just go do something else. You can see, it's loading, it's training. Okay, so the training is almost complete. I would like to use this opportunity to invite you to my upcoming live webinar tagged AI Money Blueprint. You'll discover how to tap into a $25 billion market and use AI to print your own share of the market. So if you have always wanted to make money using AI, this is the webinar you should register for. Head over to adelikesamuel.com forward slash AMB. We have limited seats. Go secure yours right now. This webinar will take place on the 1st of October. Okay, so the training is almost over. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So it is wrapping up. How many minutes have you spent so far? Wow, almost 40 minutes. Can you see status succeeded? Okay, so it is time for us to test the personalized image generator we have successfully built. So to do that, you need to also use another model on Replicate. So I've shortened the link for you. Just go to adelikesamuel.com forward slash flux dash gen so you'll be directed to this particular page okay this is where you enter your prompt this is the form feed where you enter your prompt we'll come back to that aspect ratio is just the dimension of the image one ratio one is portrait 16 ratio 9 is landscape uh we'll leave it at one ratio one for now number of output is just saying okay how many output do you want to have per generation so we'll leave this at one you can change it to four you leave every other thing as default but here where you have the hf laura this is where you want to put your organ face username slash the model name that you created earlier now let's try a basic prompt superhero let's see what happens now look at this superhero i just put superhero just one keyword and it was able to use my face as the superhero now for example let's say you want something more expressive so let's try something like this so let's try this dsp wearing a white hoodie with ai money blueprint by the way if you are yet to register for this webinar i would advise you go do that right now hmm this is not bad even though I'm kind of puffy you know but then i love this um let me save let me download this so here is the thing we'll create another generation for this so why i did is because the prompts you are entering directly they are more like raw prompts not enhanced 
not optimized at all. So I crafted this generative prompt to help you enhance your personalized image prompt. I'll tell you how you can access this. So just go to your AI tool like ChatGPT. Now this is optional. Okay, I am ready to enhance any raw prompt. So enter the same prompt that we used earlier. Okay, so where we have token name, token name, replace with DSP. So just replace this DSP, DSP, DSP. Okay. So let's see what happens here. By the way, let me say something as well. For the prompt, look at this. Where you have DSP and also DSP here. It's very important to change to your own token name. I just had to put a token name here because there are other placeholders where I just have the parameter token name. So you not get confused. Now look at this. Now this looks like me in the style we mentioned. You can see? So this is perfect. If I'll be using this to promote the webinar, you can use this to create personalized images for your marketing promotion, especially if you are selling digital products like courses, ebooks, training, programs, whatever. Okay, so let's try one more thing. This is another one. So let's enhance this again. Change the token name parameter to your token, your actual token name. You can replace this text anyway, but let's see. Okay, so let's try, let's try this. Don't forget to replace this the token name, variable or placeholder or parameter. Then let's run this. Now you will notice something. The token name comes first. Now that is like a best practice to make sure it captures your face. So always have it to come first. But don't worry, uh, the prompt I provided you has been instructed to always include your face as first. Guys, look at this look at this imagine you use this to promote your business or your product register for the ai money blueprint you'll be saying this if you follow me on any of my social media platforms now you can assume any other persona right any other character look at this this is not bad it captured um, what we are looking for you can decide to be anything with this like anything at all some of your generations might not capture your face exactly you can do more iterations meanwhile uh, let me give you an update now there is something called seed seed parameter which is like a number like an identifier for each generation because you know ai most times they are not consistent so if you want to generate consistent characters just use this seed number okay uh, i don't want to drag this i don't want to make it too long so create yours play around with some of these prompts that I provided there and to access this just go to uh, adelikesamuel.com forward slash pip go there and you'll be able to access this particular notion doc okay guys I don't believe you got value from this video use this for fun for entertainment uh, for marketing and every other thing you want to do and if you have not registered for the webinar, I would advise you head over to adelikeshamer.com forward slash AMB to secure your spot. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.